Hey guys, welcome to the intermediate class and today we're gonna do some of my favorite stuff from single leg X and starting off with a nice sweep and going in for a foot lock after that, okay? So if you didn't get the entry, uh, check out the beginners class we did earlier this week. So here, boom, and we're in the single leg X. So we'll be to this side. So here, what I'm looking to do is off balance Christian first, okay? So I want him to step back with this leg here as far as possible. So to do that, I have to go for the first basic sweep, boom, and he's gonna step, okay? So that's my moment to shine. And what I'm looking to do here, turn, what I'm looking to do here is bring this leg here that's under his thigh and step it right on his hip bone here, okay? So with this leg, I'm gonna be pushing and kicking. Now the other leg that was on the hip bone first, I'm gonna create a little bit of a pendulum here, okay? build some momentum and I'm gonna chop right into his heel or his Achilles here on the opposite leg. So having that, I'm now able to kick and chop his leg down and sweep him backwards. As soon as this happens, I can now bring myself tight again, whether I want to bring my foot in and hook the inside of his thigh for this kind of uh, single leg X, or I wanna go through here and go back to original, uh, the original single leg X, right? So. It's a little bit of a timing and momentum thing, right? So here, I'm gonna push him back, make him step. Now I can step on his hip, kick my leg through, and here we go in to the single leg X. But now I can set up the foot lock and everything from here. So, mm. nice and easy. Get him to off balance first, step, step on the hip, kick, and there we go. Whoop. And set up the leg lock. We'll see. <laughs> okay guys, so last one for today. Nice uh, classical uh, ankle lock here. And uh, this one is super good, uh, especially if this is your first time trying the ankle lock. This one is nice to learn first. And Starting from the single leg X position here, I want to get tight and everything. And now I'm going to grab right underneath his, his uh, heel here, right? Or right above his heel, I mean. Uh, the thing is, I can't break people's shins, so I try to break their feet instead, right? So that's what you look for. Now, I want to be grabbing right here under his uh, heel bone here, okay? Or over his heel bone, right? So if I'm too high, I wanna make sure that I'm adjusting and pulling back here, okay? Now, since we're in the gi, I can now use this collar to grab uh, with this hand, okay? So now, with this grip, I'm preventing my hand from sliding down, okay? In no gi, it's super easy that your hand slides down to your belly and you lose a ton of pressure, so you're not gonna have a tight foot lock. Whereas the gi, once you have this grip, you're kinda locking your, your hand here and this is gonna give you really good pressure once you start turning away. So now what I'm looking to do here is I'm looking to bring this elbow underneath me, okay? So I'm pulling my elbow to my ribs like this and I'm gonna use this free hand on the floor to walk back. So I'm walking back here and creating a little bit of an angle. So I'm really, I'm turning and twerking or uh, torquing his knee this way, okay? So now watch how I'm looking down towards the floor and not towards Christian. And here I can now pull back and get the tap, right? So from here, I don't have a lot of pressure, right? But as soon as I'm pushing and turning away, that's when I have a lot of pressure and I don't have to use a lot of force to get it either way. Watch how Christian is tapping on me and not on the floor. That's also very effective so that I can respond faster. Uh, if you have loud music or whatever, it can be uh, that I don't notice it and then maybe somebody gets hurt, right? So you don't want that. You want to have a, a nice relationship to your training partners. So here, boom, moving back. And then you have the nice and classic ankle lock. Oops. Hey guys, welcome to the intermediate class. And today we're gonna go through one of my favorite sweeps and a really easy, nice and classic footlock uh, once we get into the uh, bottom position there, right? So here, if you wanna look up the entry, make sure to check out the, the beginner's class we did earlier this week. 
So I'm here, right, in the, the single leg X, okay? And so the first thing I want to do with Christian here is I want to off balance him, okay? So I want to make him step this leg really far back, as far back as he can, okay? So it's not like I just push and then he steps a small step. That's not enough, right? I want to make sure that he's stepping all the way, okay? Nice and far, okay? So here, I'm going to move now the bottom leg that's under its, his thigh here. I'm going to move it on top of his hip bone. Okay, so I'm stepping here, and this is gonna be pushing, right? So I'm gonna be pushing with this leg as soon as possible. The other leg here, I'm throwing it around, creating a little bit of a pendulum, a little bit of momentum, and I'm gonna kick the back of his uh, Achilles here, or his heel here, okay? So I wanna make sure that I'm preventing him from stepping further back, okay? So now, at the same time as I'm creating this pendulum, I'm gonna be pushing with this leg here on the hip bone, okay? So I'm doing this, and coming into this position. As soon as this happens, I'm just gonna be pulling my leg in and either going for the inside of the thigh, kind of single X, or pulling my leg through into the regular single leg X here, okay? So, focusing on the sweep here, I'm in the single leg X, right? First thing, is I, got, first thing I gotta do is push him and get him out of balance. So I'm gonna push, there we go. Step, pendulum, and sweep, okay? Bring the bottom leg through, whether you wanna go for the regular single leg X or hooking the inside of his thigh, okay? Boom. So, little entry first here, and there we go, okay? So I'm gonna sweep him, or try to sweep him, Step on his hip, throw my leg around, and kick. Here, okay, one more time. Ooh. Boom. One more time. Okay guys, so we're gonna go a little bit further here and now we're gonna finish the ankle lock from the single leg X once I've swept him. And so, we're gonna move to this side because this is my favorite side. <laughs> I only have one side, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so, uh, just a regular single leg X now. We can probably move a little bit back. So, I'm hooking under his thigh on the opposite side. My foot is on his hip bone. And now, I'm starting to pull myself tight here, right? So I wanna make sure that my knee is almost touching my ankle here or my heel bone here, and I'm staying tight, okay? So here, I'm gonna look for my arm to go right under his heel here, okay? So Christian is a little bit longer than me, so I might have to move a little bit back depending on the situation, but what I'm looking for is not his shin, right? I'm not that strong, it's really hard to break shin bones, so I wanna make sure that I'm all the way back here to get the most effect on his uh, ankle bone here, okay? Now, I want to place my hand flat on my chest. You could do this with one hand, of course. This is the way I'm gonna show it just for now. But you could also grab for more power afterwards, okay? So, a little bit this way. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna bring my elbow underneath me, okay? So watch how my, I'm on uh, my elbow here on the floor, but I'm gonna bring it under me here. So I'm turning his foot like this, okay? So now I'm gonna use my hand, my free hand on the floor to get a little bit of rotation here. So I'm torquing his leg like this, okay? Watch how I'm looking down towards the floor and now I can stretch to get the submission, right? So by like, if I'm just trying to stretch here, it's gonna be sometimes powerful enough but I don't have the same pressure. But as soon as I'm turning like this, this is the position where I can stretch nice and easy, right? And it doesn't have to be a lot of uh, moving to get it. You, and you should be gentle <laughs> with your partners and don't hurt them because they wanna walk home probably afterwards. So moving here, nice and easy backwards. I'm gonna lock my shoulders back and then I'm starting to pull, right? 
Make sure that you're not looking towards him, but you're looking down towards the mat. And a little tip for your partner, tap on the person that you're uh, training with, uh, because if they tap on the floor, you might not uh, be able to see or notice it. Let's say there's loud music as well. So that's also hard to notice, okay? So here, I got the, my hand on my chest. Make sure that it's not far down on your belly. So you wanna bring it all the way to your chest if you can. Place your hand on the floor, walk back, walk back, and now you can get it, okay? Was.